And when I gave it to Britain, you know what I did? Instead of just saying, here, here's your money. I said, I prayed over that money and I said, God, this is a seed that I'm planting into this man's life, into my future, Lord. I know there's a plan and a purpose. I don't know what it is, God, but I am listening right now. And I gave him the five grand. And guess what happened? Me and Brenton Wood became good friends. Amen. Man, he called me and he called me and I didn't do nothing. I was just like, whoa, what, what's happening here? And remember, I used to listen to Brenton Wood's music when I was in kindergarten. <laughs> and here I was with, with Brenton Wood. He said, Mike, he called me up one day. He was Mike, we're, we're getting like to know each other good. I want to do a song for the Lord. What do you think? And I'm like, what, what, what? And so he goes, write the song, call me back. I wrote the song overnight. How many know because when you get an opportunity like that, you got to act. And you got to say, you know what, man, this is a time, God. This is the season I'm in. I'm going to write the song. Boom, boom. I called him. He's like, man, you wrote the song already? We did the song. Make a long story longer. Check this out. What happened? Check this out. So Brenton told me he put it on iTunes. He was thinking money. He was thinking a young Chicano dude like me in front of the Hispanic crowd because all of his fans are raza, you know, Mexicans, right? He's like, I'm going to bring this young dude in. I'm going to make money off of him. But little did he know, man, God was knocking at his door. <laughs> you know, we, we went on tour. He asked me to go on tour with him to do the song. We toured with famous people, man. I'm telling you, like, I, I was blown away. Like, I was like, man, you know, Sugar Hill Gang, uh, you know, Rolls Royce, uh, all the oldie, Midnight Star, SOS Band, Denise Williams, like, all of them. Like, like I met so many people on this ride. And here I am, you know, these guys telling me, hey, let's go party. We got a, we got girls. We got the whole town, you know, after the shows. You know what I mean? And I'm like, no, man, I'm good. And I was in the whole town room sharing scripture with Brenton, Amen. sharing the Lord with him. And even his manager came up to me one time. We were with Too Short. You guys know what Too Short is, right? We had a show with Too Short. And Brenton's manager was watching me, and I didn't know this. Now, always remember there's somebody watching so he came up to me and he goes, man, Mike, he goes, I see the way you operated. I see, he goes, you're, you're a real man of God, huh? And I said, well, you know, I, I, I tried my best, you know? He's like, I was watching you. He's like, I seen you walk out. Because too short, I don't know if you understand, but his music's kind of like out there. So he had girls come in, dancing and all that. And I just, you know, I cut out, I walked out, you know? And so this is the opportunity you know, for, for God to do something great in my life, and I wasn't going to ruin it. Amen? Amen? So, Brent called me one day, and he's like, Mike, I want you to sign with my record label, right? Mr. Wood Records. And I was like, what? Six years, right? I signed a contract. My dad just passed away. He never got to see me with Brent. And uh, that, that kind of hurt because that was my dad's, like, you know, I know he looked up to Brent Wood. He knew all the songs, remember? And I say this humbly, but to give God the glory that I was the only artist ever signed with Mr. Brenton Wood Records. And that was Second Chance. And that, I say that humbly because God did a miracle, man. I was laying in that ditch. I was supposed to die. I was supposed to spend the rest of my life in prison. And here I am with the legend of all these uh, music signing this contract with this man. Traveling in an airplane, right? That's another story, but I'm gonna do this next song. And remember, this is just my story. I'm not like bragging about the past. I'm just, I'm getting somewhere, amen? I'm getting somewhere tonight, all right? So we're gonna do another song before I, before I get on with it here. Number 16, is there any women of God in the house? Come on.